What's up, everybody? Welcome to the hundred and something episode of the Boundless Business Podcast. I wanted to record an episode solo to really go over kind of the math behind uh, marketing and sales, especially as it pertains to home services businesses. So I am very much a math person. I have my econ degree. I love data. I love analysis and being able to go through and really really dig through everything. And I I wanted to do kind of a special episode today just to sort of walk through the math in terms of how many leads should you get to be able to close jobs? And and then how do you kind of work backwards from there to make sure your marketing solution makes sense for you? So to kind of start, I would love to talk about just the basic basics. So we're going to start with our goal, right? In this case, your goal may be different. I am going to use the goal of Closed jobs. High level, the first thing you need to know about like closed jobs is you need to know how many estimates it takes typically to close a job. So for example, what we see roughly across the industry is, you know, 20 to 30 percent of estimates will close into closed jobs. So we'll go ahead and use, let's say, 20 percent just for easy math. So if we want one closed job, and 20% of estimates become a closed job, that means we need five estimates to close one job. Now, if we think about the math on the other end, right, now we're trying to figure out, we're like, okay, we know how many estimates we need. How many leads do we need to get to get five estimates? In that particular case, you know, what we typically see across the industry is you'll get, again, 20 to 30% of estimates from or 20% of leads will become estimates. So we'll use 20% again, just for super easy math. So if we want one job, 20%, which would be 20% of our five estimates, which would be 20% of our, uh, now I gotta do, now I gotta, now I gotta do the quick, the quick actual math. And this is where uh, the cracks start to show a little bit, but 20% of 25 leads. So to get one job, based on just those rough percentages on the lower end, you may perform way above this, you may perform below, but this is kind of the formula to be able to back into. So if 20% of estimates become leads, if you need 25 leads to get one booked job, then that's when we start talking about what are our longer term, bigger picture goals, right? Now that we have the basic formula. Because from then, it's just really simple multiplication. So let's say we want to close five jobs each month. That means we should be getting 125 leads to turn into uh, 25 estimates to turn into roughly five jobs. So that is kind of how the math works out. And I wanted to go through that to make sure that, you know, things do make sense. And and that's how we can kind of calculate a lot of things. Now, the next thing to think about is what type of marketing cost makes sense for each job. So what you should typically expect is you should typically expect your marketing costs to be about 10% of the revenue you get from the job. So if it's a $100,000 job, you can expect to spend roughly $10,000 to acquire that job. And again, you got to go through the whole the whole system of getting leads and then doing estimates and then closing those estimates into actual jobs. So making sure you're following through that whole process. Then if you stick with a particular number in terms of a revenue goal, it makes it much easier to back into exactly how many leads you need and how many estimates and how many jobs and et cetera. So let's say we have just a really simple goal. Of we want from whatever lead generation that we're doing, we want an extra 100K in projects each month. Now, that's when we need to look at like, what's our average uh, project value? In this case, again, I'm just gonna pick numbers for easy math, so I'm gonna pick $10,000 as our average project value. We should, to get those $10,000 jobs, and we, if our goal is to get $100,000 in new business, we should be closing 10 new jobs. From that, again, if we're just assuming that we'll close 20% of estimates, then we're going to need to have 50 estimates to turn into those 10 jobs. Of those 50 estimates, again, if we're using this 20%, 
we are going to need 250 leads to turn into these 10 jobs. So when we take that 250, that 250 leads, and again, we're just going to assume for easy math that 10% of our marketing cost is going to be there. Um, so if we want 250 leads for, let's say, $10,000, those 250 leads, we would need them to be at the uh, for $10,000, 250. That's roughly, if my math is right, I want to say 40. Let me do the quick math. Yeah, yeah, 40 leads. Or $40, $40 per lead is what that target would be. That cost per estimate, so that would be 250 leads, uh, 50 estimates. So that cost per estimate is going to be roughly like $200 per estimate. So again, these numbers can vary as long as you're hitting the, the key ones. Um, and then that cost per job is going to be roughly $1,000 per job. So hopefully that makes sense in terms of how all the math breaks out and how uh, we really calculate and figure out based on your goals, how many leads do you need? What should your costs for those leads be? And what should your you know booking rates be at each stage? So again, we did our estimates based on the lower end, but let's say you uh, convert about 30% of leads to estimates. Well, that makes things a lot more advantageous, right? Um, let's say you convert more than that. Let's say you convert 50%. Then you need to get fewer leads on the front end. And so that's all I really wanted to go through today is really just to clarify, you know, kind of how the math is and set it all up so that you guys can back into the math yourself and figure out where do you need your cost per lead to be or your cost per estimate and find a solution that makes the most sense for you. Um, and, you know, shameless plug, we do this lead generation. And if you need absolutely anything, please reach out to me and let me know. Uh, you can reach out at Larissa at GetBoundlessMedia.com. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.